Hey guys, it's been a while since I've done a video. So um, today we're gonna be talking about the Monoprice whole home audio amplifier. So let's get started. All right, so like I said, we're gonna be talking about the Monoprice six, six Zone Whole Home Audio System. It's also six source input, and any of the zones can listen to any of the sources. Not everything has to be listening at the same time. So um, right off the bat, I'm gonna talk about where I put my amplifier. I wanted to put it somewhere where you know, it wasn't gonna be seen by anybody, and so um, I've got power behind the fridge, and so what I did was I ran an extension cord from behind the fridge up into this unused space on this top shelf. Uh, you can see the extension cord back there. But I put the amplifier up here and ran all of my cabling, ethernet, to all the keypads, I ran it all here. So I'm gonna get up here, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. And then I'm gonna talk about this system. This is actually the second whole home audio system I've put in. I've used the Dayton Audio DAX66, and then I've used this Monoprice amplifier. And I'm gonna do another video explaining what the differences are between that amplifier and this one, because they are actually identical with a few very minor differences, but the price difference is uh, way different. And so we're gonna talk about that in another video, so stay tuned for that. But this is where I put the amplifier. So I've got all six sources hooked up here. These go to all my rooms, so I've got one in the kitchen, I've got one outside in the garage, outside on the deck, in the master bedroom, master bathroom, and then in the upstairs guest bedroom. Because my house was already finished, I wasn't able to do anything in the basement, so unfortunately I just had to stick with everything upstairs, but that's okay, um, we spend most of our time upstairs anyway. But anyway, I've got all of my speaker cables right here, and then all of my coax, this is RG6 quad shield, coming in here. These feed the sources in the walls that I put, and I'm gonna go around and show you guys that here in a minute. And then all of my ethernet is back here in this bundle, and it goes into this box that I put on the wall. These are all six keypads. They terminate into the back of this, they plug in here, and then one cable comes out there into the amplifier. So that's what the back of the amplifier looks like. Um, I've got a Chromecast audio input source for one of my sources, so I can stream wirelessly from my phone or an iPad to that, so that way I don't have to have something plugged into the wall. And honestly, 99% of the streaming you do is on that Chromecast, so that's what I use, and I think a lot of people would probably be using that too. But anyway, um, I do have um, an RCA input that goes to the kitchen and then I've got an RCA input that goes behind the upstairs TV um, so that way if I want to listen to a football game or any kind of sports or TV outside or in the garage I can still do that. Um, now the front of it um, it's kind of hard to see but there's only a power button on the front and then some LED lights um, there's not a whole lot going on in the front so really nothing to show there. So let's go around and let's play some music. Um, let's, I'm going to talk about this and um, if you guys have any questions, please put them in the comments, but let's go around and let's uh, show you the zones, get the music turned on, and see what you guys think. Alright, so I'm here in the kitchen, I'm at the first source. Um, this is an RCA input and a phone jack, so this hole in the wall was actually a, a phone jack when we uh, bought our house, we bought our house brand new. I'm not sure who uses phone jacks now anymore anyway, so what I ended up doing was I repurposed this wall plate and then I made this and uh, my first source this is where I ran RCA cables behind the wall had fun up in the attic and um, this is my first source so let's go ahead and let's play some music here in the kitchen and I'm gonna go ahead and use my laptop all right let's go ahead and come over here to the wall so this is the keypad and I'm gonna take one of these out and I'm gonna let you see what the back of it looks like, but for now, let's just go around and let's turn up some music. 
Um, so right now, if I hit the select button in the middle, this says that I'm on source one. Um, I can adjust the treble, the bass, and the volume. So each time you hit select, it's gonna toggle through each of these, and then you can uh, use the buttons to make a change on that setting. So let's go ahead and turn this volume up. So we're gonna go into the master bedroom now. And I put the keypad right here. And it's on a, a different source, so let's go ahead and change that to the same source as uh, the kitchen. Let's turn it down a little bit. So we've got speakers up there and there. And now we're gonna go into the master bathroom. We're gonna come over here. And we need to change this source as well. And then I put a speaker near the shower, that way you can hear it around the corner in the shower. Now if I wanted to listen to TV, I can switch it to Source 2. If I have any TV playing right now. Nope, I don't have the TV on. I'll, I'll turn that on here in a few and show you that. All right, so let's go into the guest bedroom upstairs. So we've got that right here. And these can get pretty loud. Um, I'll turn it up even more here in a second. But now let's go in the garage. And in the garage, I've got it right here. These are a different type of speaker. I didn't use in-ceiling speakers for this. Uh, these are Dayton audio speakers. I'll put a link in the description for the kind of speakers that I use. I'll, I'll go ahead and turn this off now. And to turn it off, you just hold the power button in the middle until it turns off. And lastly, I'm gonna go out on the deck and I'm gonna show you the one I installed out on the deck too. There's the box up on the wall and I ran the wire inside the, the wall here. And I need to change the source again here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause my music I'm gonna show you my second source, RCA input source. And that is over here where the TV is, um, right here. And so I've got these going into my cable box so that way I can listen to TV. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the cable box on that way I can demonstrate that. Okay, I've got the TV on now so. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm playing music through Spotify through my laptop on Source One here in the kitchen. I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna turn it to the other source. Or suffer through the pain. These children are not going to school. They're not functioning. Um, they're falling behind. Worsening of pain when I press. But now you hope using an unusual treatment, Botox. The popular wrinkle reducer is also FDA approved for adults with migraines. A new study to suggest. So 
So you can see that we were listening to one source outside and one source inside, and you can do that on any of the zones. If I had more inputs, I could listen to something different in each zone. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna unscrew one of these and I'm gonna let you see what the back of this looks like. So uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the keypad when I've removed the plate and unscrewed the screws here. This is just a standard low voltage um, bracket for existing construction. I had to do all this work um, after we moved in. And so when I pull this out, so the mono price amplifiers, these six zone ones, are different from the Dayton audio ones um, because of the back piece here. So this this is a pre-terminated well. I ran the cable and I terminated it myself, but it's a pre-terminated Ethernet jack that plugs into this keypad. Um, the Dayton Audio ones use a keystone jack, uh, similar to this green thing right here, where you don't have an Ethernet end on, and you strip back the each individual Ethernet wire, and you have to put it into the keystone jack and um, screw it down. So that's where these are a little bit different. So on the other side of this wall here is my outside box. So I ran both wires down this wall and one goes outside for that keypad and one stays inside here. And the way you change um, which zone, which keypad is gonna control what zone are those dip switches there in the, on the red uh, piece there at the top. So each one corresponds to a certain zone. So every keypad is gonna be slightly different. So one thing that you can do with the the system, this amplifier, is that you can actually chain up to two more amplifiers. So you can have a total of three amplifiers chained together for um, 18 zones. But they, all 18 zones, if you do do that, would share six sources. So it would be an 18 by 6 matrix system. Uh, my parents' house, which I'm going to be doing a video on that, their house has two Dayton Audios chained together. So they've got a, a six by 12 system and it works wonderful. And like I said, I'm gonna be doing a video to that and I'm gonna link a picture at the very end and uh, give you guys a little teaser and go over and watch that video. But I'm gonna be talking about their system and um, how it works, how it's set up. It's daisy chained um, using 12 zones in their house. And I was able to wire their house under new construction when they built their house. Just, um, just finished that here in the later part of 2017. So uh, if you guys are interested, go check that out. But if you have any questions, let me know. Um, one thing that I wish I would have done differently is not use quite as thick of speaker wire. I use 12 gauge, I believe, and it is pretty thick. It's almost not able to fit into the keystone jacks, but um, it was leftover wire from my parents' install that I did, so I went ahead and used it. So I, I wish I would have used um, a couple steps down and uh, not use quite as thick a wire. Um, yeah, like I said, I, just, I had to run all the cables in the walls, so I spent a lot of hours in the attic getting it to look nice and neat like this. So, um, yeah, if you have any questions about how I did it, how I ran the wires into the walls, how I located where everything was at inside of the attic, let me know. And I'd be happy to answer some questions, but stay tuned for some more videos coming your way, and uh, check it out. Thanks.